Hello friends, hope you all are doing well and staying safe. It just does not feel, you know, surreal at the moment because it is just overwhelming. It is just one of those feelings where you as an Arsenal fan are going through the emotions. And if anyone witnessed yesterday's North London Derby between Arsenal and Tottenham, there is only one word. Tottenham are shit. That is the reality, my friends. And for years together, we all know that Tottenham have had a very, very dismal record when it comes to playing against Arsenal, especially at the Emirates Stadium. And once again, in front of a packed stadium, Tottenham bottled it. That is the, you know, real statement, my friends. And once again, Arsenal were just too clinical in front of goal. They were showing the much more intent throughout the game and their game plan worked. And I have to say this, Mikel Arteta completely schooled and outplayed, outthought Antonio Conte in each and every aspect. Defensively, offensively, in transition and in terms of the starting lineup, I just felt that, you know, Mikel Arteta got his tactics spot on. He actually had a risk of playing Alexander Zinchenko on the left hand side and giving Tierney the rest. It was really good to see Thomas Partey starting for the Gunners after having a slight niggle and even Martin Odegaard, the club captain, was back. And everyone before this match was saying that Antonio Conte and his men have, you know, not tasted defeat this season. Things are looking quite good. The front four of Harry Kane, Jung Min Son, Dejan Kulusevsky and Richarlison are firing on all cylinders and everyone was really pumped up because this North London derby was so special and so very important for both teams. It was a huge match in the context of the season and in terms of the points table. Arsenal going into this match were at the top of the table. Yes, they defeated Brentford last time out and they had the confidence, especially after that clinical performance. As far as Tottenham is concerned, one man called Hume Min Son would certainly be up for this fight, but you know, it was just not to be. Right from the first half, we saw Arsenal dominating position. Tottenham were just too lackluster. They were sitting inside their own half too deep and that at times can lead to their own downfall. And Antonio Conte has said in so many of his interviews that this, this is the style we play and this has been effective. Because what I have observed with Conte is that he goes for the result more than the kind of performance and the play which the players are doing on the pitch and it just goes to show that you know he's a manager who has a winning mentality come what may even if the players are not playing good he wants them to win ugly that is all right and i just felt that they never showed that intent they always were you know sitting too deep they were allowing arsenal to have the position the bulk share of the position and ultimately you know that actually led to their own downfall. And Thomas Partey with a sublime goal in the 20th minute, Hugo Lloris had no chance, top bins and 1-0 to the Arsenal. And against the run of play, you can say that Tottenham had some chances, especially when, you know, they had a set piece in the early minutes. But, you know, what I have to say is William Saliba is a very, very composed centre-back at the age of 21 playing for Arsenal. He might be just the best centre-back in the Premier League right now. And, you know, the way Tottenham scored their goal was a luck of fortune. Yes, it was a penalty and, you know, just the bozo gene of Gabriel Magales did the damage. And Arsenal were looking so clinical before that. And, you know, after conceding the penalty, there was only one man who was going to take the penalty. And that was Harry Kane. No mistake from the spot, 1-1 at halftime, going into the break, I think Arsenal would be disappointed because they had the bulk share of the position and they could have hurt Tottenham. However, you know, the game was nicely poised and the second half could have gone either way. However, Arsenal stuck to their guns. They were having more position. They did not allow Harry Kane to, you know, make those off-the-ball runs, find Jung Min Son. Nothing was happening for Tottenham. And once again, I have to say this, that, you know, Arsenal were 
you know dominating in each and every aspect in the second half what we saw is that Mikel Arteta was looking for his team to play higher up the pitch they were pressing higher and you know Bukayo Saka whenever he was coming from the right hand side Ben White was overlapping and that created more space and you know one of those defenders of Tottenham was dragged away because of Ben White's overlapping run and this is how the second goal for Arsenal came Ben White made that run which allowed Saka to drift inside take a shot and Hugo Lloris spilled the rebound it could have been an easy grab however in such huge matches even the best goalkeepers sometimes fail to deliver and Gabriel Jesus a man who is possessed at the moment who is hungry to score goals did no mistake right place at the right time and he just poked the ball into the goal 2-1 to Arsenal and now you are thinking that Ars you know Tottenham will come out of their shell they will play some expansive football they will have some possession and they will try to hurt Arsenal however one moment of madness completely changed the game. Emerson Royal on the right hand side, I just don't know what he was thinking. He went into a blatant tackle on Gabriel Martinelli, which was silly according to me. And when you look at the replay, you would realize that it was a clear red card. He is going high into the opponent's ankle and that is considered to be a very very big offense especially in modern football and you know this is where technology also comes in but Anthony Taylor had no doubt that it was a straight red and some of you might be feeling that it was harsh on Tottenham and you know this is where sometimes the North London Derby always has its you know action packed moments and this was one such moment which was really crucial it was actually you can say the turning point however even if you know Tottenham had 12 players on the pitch I don't think they would have penetrated Arsenal because Arsenal were just too strong from back to front Aaron Ramsdale did not have many saves to make and soon after Tottenham went down to 10 men Arsenal capitalized and they consolidated their lead a two goal cushion with Granit Xhaka scoring the third which came just at the right time and after that Tottenham were you know already giving up Antonio Conte brought off Richarlison he brought off you know Hyung Min Son he brought off you know the other players who were not performing well he gave a chance to all the defenders he brought on defenders instead of going for some kind of attack and Harry Kane was the only focal point left up front which was of no avail and you know this is a huge win in the context of the season because everyone knew that going into the October fixtures Arsenal will be having some really mouth-watering clashes and none other than the North London Derby to kick off proceedings and Arsenal passed the test lot of people were saying that how would Arsenal fare against the big teams they have not played any strong opposition so far but guess what they completely outplayed Tottenham and really deserved the 3-1 win Arteta is doing a lot of things right at the moment. I wouldn't say that Arsenal are in the title race yet, you know, because there are some things which, uh, you know, concerns me because they don't have enough squad depth at the moment. They could have had a backup for Thomas Partey in the summer transfer window, but that never materialized. And, you know, if they can continue the same momentum at least till the Christmas period, I feel that they can strengthen in the January transfer window and still have a significant chance of competing for the title it is something which too which is too optimistic at the moment but if arsenal can maintain this form with the same playing style with the same set of players barring there is no injury i feel that they have a you know slight chance and it would be tough to ruffle the feathers of manchester city however you know arsenal are still top of the table and that is all that matters so guys, once again, a very, very memorable North London Derby at the Emirates Stadium. Please let me know who was your man of the match because I personally could have picked so many. Lot of those players played really well. And, you know, this is just the scenario which all Arsenal fans would have wanted going into the weekend. A very good win and they can now, you know, rest till the midweek when they play in the Europa League. Let me know your thoughts, guys. 
and if you have liked this video please do not forget to hit the like button and if you have not yet subscribed to my channel please do me a favor hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification for regular updates so until next time stay safe and take care